Hello everyone, this is Shannon from That So Poe, and today I'm doing a review of Lalani of the Distant Sea by Erin Entrada Kelly, which is such a great Filipino folklore inspired dark fantasy middle grade that I really, really loved, and I hope you will pick up too. The story focuses on Lalani, a 12-year-old girl dealing with a pretty difficult life growing up in a poor fishing village on the island of San Laguita. Everyone in San Laguita is really, really struggling just to get by, and every year many of the men die as they attempt to sail across the sea to the island of Isa, where magic and good fortune awaits. Things start to get much worse in San Laguita and many of the people that Lalani cares about are really suffering. So one day she decides that she has to go ahead and try to make that journey to Isa herself. So now let me tell you about all of the many reasons why I loved this book so much, starting with the Filipino folklore inspired world building. This fantasy world that includes San Laguita and Isa is a very, very rich fantasy world. There's so much going on in terms of the way that the magic works and the type of creatures that exist. Um, the author actually has a section of her website devoted to talking about the creatures that that she created for San Laguita and how they were inspired by various different Filipino folklore myths. So I will link that below if you're interested, but it was really fascinating just all of the different types of creatures and different types of magic. Um, there were kind of animal type creatures, but there were also plant type creatures and there were spirits and just sort of luck and fortune and so many different things that I really, really enjoyed. I also loved the atmosphere in this book, which is this dark fantasy, almost verging on horror type of atmosphere. It is very engaging, very gripping, thoroughly immersive, and it has a lot of danger and high stakes in it. It's filled with really dangerous creatures and bad things happen to lots of people around. I do have a list of content warnings down below, so definitely check those out. I would say that this is a little bit of an older middle grade read because there is a lot of very, very dark and heavy content and just there are consequences for actions in this book. It is really a great atmosphere though. Relatedly, the daily life that Lalani lives is also pretty dark. It's a harsh existence. Um, she, her family, and really all of the people of San Laguita are suffering. There is drought, there is poverty, there aren't enough resources, there's illness. Um, like I said before, men are dying when they go across the sea and never return. There's also a very tyrannical leader who is in charge of the community who has very, very harsh punishments and lots of strict work schedules, it's a rough life. But I think that that adds a lot of depth of discussion of what it's like and what the stakes are for Lalani and her friends as they go through this adventure that I think really makes it a great book. Another aspect that I think adds a lot of depth to the story is how much it explores the idea of moral quandaries. Lalani and her friends are put in a lot of situations where they have to make very tough decisions. They have to decide, should they be following the rules strictly or should they go against the rules, do something that they could get in quite a lot of trouble for, but is needed in order to help the people that they care about? Should they speak up against authority figures who are doing something wrong, or is the cost too high and they should just fall in line? Should they really do anything that is um, so dangerous to themselves, but could potentially have a lot of benefit for others. There's just a lot of issues that Lolani and her friends have to confront, decisions that they have to make that really enrich the story. And speaking of the decisions that Lalani and her friends have to make, I loved the character growth that happened in this story. Lalani and her friends really have to go through some very tough situations and they have to make a lot of decisions that are part of their growth into adulthood. They have to figure out what they care about, what is worth fighting for, what is worth persevering even when they're not okay, what is worth risking consequences for. And I just love seeing the growth of the characters over the course of the story. 
And lastly, one of my favorite things about this story is the overriding sense of adventure. Lalani is going on a journey trying to get to Issa and she is encountering so many new things and so many new creatures and places, so many new experiences. She's forced to sort of grow and learn and try to adapt and try to persevere. And I loved that sense of her adventure going through all of these experiences that permeates the book. I thought it felt so, so engaging. Overall, I think that Lalani of the Distant Sea is a really excellent dark fantasy middle grade that pulls on such interesting mythology and folklore and really has a lot of high stakes for the characters and has them make a lot of decisions that help them grow up that really adds a depth and richness to the story that is also filled with adventure. I highly, highly recommend this book. If you guys have read this or you've read anything else by Erin Entrada Kelly, or if you're interested in it, you have any thoughts, any recommendations, anything at all, just go ahead, leave me a comment down below.